Greetings from Amrita Vishwavidya Peetam. I am Nandivardhan HR, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering at Amrita School of Engineering, Bengaluru campus. At the very outset, let me welcome you all to the session. In the session, I will walk you through different facets of Amrita School of Engineering, Bengaluru campus. As MTech aspirants, you will at the end of the session, you will be able to know what Amrita has to offer, what are the specializations we offer, what are the initiatives and programs that we have to shape your career. I am sure you are keen to know more about us. Without much ado, let me start off this presentation by introducing the people of our university. Our chancellor is Sadhguru Mata Amritanandamayi Devi, fondly known as Amma or Hugging Saint around the world. She is a renowned spiritual master who was conferred the Gandhi King Peace Prize in 2002 at UN Geneva. She is a humanitarian leader and lays emphasis uh, on education with human values. And since then, we have made it our mantra. The value-based education is the mantra of our university. Our pro-chancellor is Brahmachari Abhyamrita Chaitanya. He is one of the guiding force and pillar of strength for driving this research-oriented university. Our vice chancellor is Dr. Venkat Rangan, a recipient of President's Gold Medal from IIT Madras. Dr. Rangan holds PhD from UC Berkeley and has 30 patents and more than 100 publications to his name. He was a professor of computer science at University of California in the past. Now that you know the people behind Amrita, let me tell you where we are. Amrita has geographical presence in southern states of Kerala, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. We have six sprawling campuses spread over in the cities of Coimbatore, Kochi, Mysore, Bangalore, Amritpuri, and Chennai. These campuses are spread over more than 1,000 acres of land and have 9 million square feet of built-up area. They, ho they house many research laboratories, classrooms, state-of-the-art centers of excellence, etc. We have more than 15 schools running around 200 programs in various disciplines, such as engineering, business, medicine, dentistry, pharmacy, nursing, biotechnology, arts and science, humanities, health science, education, hospital management, media studies, and so on. We have more than 20,000 students currently enrolled and pursuing their education at Amrita. We have 1,600 well-qualified faculty members, out of which more than 200 are of international repute. It should be noted that we have 700 faculty members with PhDs. Amrita is a multidisciplinary, multi-campus dynamic university. A lot of emphasis is laid on carrying out research. Our faculty members and students actively engage in solving modern day engineering problems and present their findings in scientific communities. Amrita encourages publications and patents. To put that in perspective in number, we have 12,000 research papers with more than 40,000 citations. We believe in quality research. Also, our students and faculty members at Amrita have more than 100 patents either filed or granted. The faculty members of Amrita have authored more than 300 books. Amrita works close in mission mode projects of Government of India. We have carried out projects such as AVU, Virtual Labs, MedSim, OLabs2, etc. I take pleasure in telling you that two more campuses are getting added on to Amrita University. A campus at National Capital Region and Amaravati are, will be added shortly. Also as a premier university, we have collaborations with reputed universities all around the world. We have more than 200 international collaborations. Now that you have understood what Amrita is, let me tell you how we fare when we are put against other institutions and organizations like ours. I take pride in telling you that we have been ranked eighth in National Institutional Ranking Framework 2019 of Government of India. Also, it should be noted that we are repeating this feat from 2018. In 2018, we achieved a rank of eight as well. Amrita is a grade accredited by NAC, an institutional body under UGC. Let me tell you what NAC is. 
NAC is National Assessment and Accreditation Council under UGC which assures and assesses the quality of higher education. It follows many metrics like student enrollment, student diversity, the quality of education, the quality of faculty members, the PhDs, the research initiatives, the infrastructure, the cultural events, the extracurricular events that we promote, sports and so on. I am proud to say that we excel in all of these metrics and today we have achieved a top grade of A. A is the top grade in NAC. Now what is that in our perspective or what is it in it for you? It goes without saying that the Amrita degree and the students of Amrita are very well received all around the world in, all or on in industries and research institutes. I will put on record that we are placed number one in campus, Swatch campus ranking 2018 of higher educational institutes by MHRD and Government of India. Around the world, we have been ranked in top 500 universities by Times Higher Education World University Rankings. Also, we have been in top 200 among the BRICS community. We are also the number one private university in India ranked by THE Asia University Ranking and Univers QS University Ranking Asia. It goes without saying that we deliver the best and we have a quality program for you, an aspirant, to develop your career. Now, let me tell you more about MTech specialization and MTech courses we have. Amrita has around 33 MTech specialized courses offered in three campuses, namely Amritpuri, Bengaluru, and Coimbatore. Our courses are carefully crafted and designed to meet the current industry requirements and research requirements. So let me highlight the courses that we have. I'll start with our campus, that is Bengaluru campus. The courses offered in Bengaluru campus are Computer Science and Engineering, Data Sciences, Embedded Systems, Power Electronics and Drives, Communication and Information Systems, VLSI Design, Machine Design and Robotics, Thermal Science and Energy Systems. These are the MTech specializations that we offer from our Bengaluru campus. We also offer Artificial Intelligence, Biomedical Instrumentation and Signal Processing, Computer Science and Engineering, Cyber Security Systems and Networks, Geoinformatics and Earth Observation, Smart Sensing Communication and Network Technologies, Wireless Networks and Applications, Embedded Control and Automation, Power and Energy with Focus on Smart Grids and Electric Vehicles, Signal Processing and Embedded Systems, VLSI Design, Production and Industrial Engineering, Robotics and Automation, Thermal and Fluid Engineering at our Amritpuri campus. We offer material science and engineering, structural and constructural engineering, computational engineering and networking with a focus on data science, artificial intelligence and data science, computer science and engineering, cyber security, embedded systems, industrial intelligence systems, power electronics and drives, renewable energy technologies, automotive electronics, biomedical engineering, communication systems, VLSI design, automotive engineering, engineering design and manufacturing engineering courses at our Coimbatore campus. I am sure you have already spotted the course of your choice, such is the span of our courses. Now, you know what are the courses we offer and where we are, who we are and so on. Now let me tell you, once you enroll, what are the opportunities and what are the benefits that you can explore as a graduate student and after graduation as a graduate. Amrita has itemized the projection of or the roadmap for a graduate in three different avenues. Higher education is the first one. Then we have people who look for job opportunities and internships. Then we have people who want to further their specialization into research for postgraduate studies. Let me take the first one for higher education. Many of you would be wanting to work with best of the faculties around the world. In order to cater the needs, we have set up ACIP. I'll take this opportunity to ta talk about ACIP. ACIP is Amrita Center for International Programs. It focuses on enhancing education and research by bringing st together students and academicians from around the world. It assists students in acquiring information about various academic course offerings, fees, and scholarships. Amrita has signed MOUs with several prestigious universities in Europe, Australia, and the USA. 
We offer dual degree programs that allow our students to earn their second degree from an internationally recognized institution in the US or Europe. The dual degree programs enhances student employability and opens up new career path for our graduates while experiencing cross-cultural immersion. Now that I said we have over 200 collaborations of, with universities around the world, let me itemize a few for you. We have collaborations with University of New Mexico, University at Buffalo, the State University of New York, VU Amsterdam, Telecom School of Management, University of L'Aquila in Italy, University of Louisiana Lafayette, and KTH Stockholm, Sweden, to name a few. These universities engage with Amrita universities and offer dual degree programs. Now, for those of you who are interested to take up jobs and internships in various industries, let me tell you what we have in store for you in, at Amrita. Amrita has a ver very well established corporate and industry relations group. This group strives in imparting sm soft skills, training graduates with mock interviews, group discussions, and so on. They make you industry ready. And also, they work closely with many top industries and offer internships to our graduates. In, as an MTech per aspirant, let me tell you one good thing about this. At Amrita, after completion of one year, you have an opportunity to do, be an intern at top companies. The CIR works with these companies in offering the internships. Let me tell you what are the companies that, are we, that we are associated with. This is a small subset of the companies that we are associated with. I'll name the only the major ones. So we have AVI Networks, Leyland, Elgi, Amazon, DirectEye, Nokia, Hyundai, Honeywell, Cerner, Cognizant, HCL, ABB, FireEye, AMD, Ernst Young, Cisco, Caterpillar, Philips, VMware, Tata Consultancy Services, SmartPix, LNT, PayPal, Infosys, PwC, Microfocus, Virtusa, Intel, Synopsys, Bosch, Volvo, Oracle. I think we have listed all the cream industries that we are associated with. Now, coming, coming to the third segment, that is students who want to further their education and pursue research as their profession, let me tell you how we align them at Amrita. In Amrita, every department has identified the thrust area groups. The thrust area groups is with respect to research. We carry out research in niche areas with respect to the domains and with respect to the requirements of the engineering and industry world. So let me tell you what are the thrust area groups that we have. Firstly, I'll begin with the thrust area groups under CSE. We have faculties and students who work, collaborate and work in these thrust areas. The thrust areas in CSE includes robotics, computer architecture and high performance computing, data mining, cloud computing and information security, computational intelligence and computing research in computer vision, distributed embedded systems and wireless sensor network, bioinformatics and big data analytics, reconfigurable computing and computer architecture. And those of you from the CSE background, if you know what are the keywords that are thriving in this world currently, you find it there on that slide. Next, we have research thrust areas from ECE and EIE. Communication has always been in the limelight for a very long time now. And still, we, it is continuing to be in the limelight. We have advanced communication research, RF and wireless networks, signal processing team, which work extensively in these areas. Robotics include a lot of instrumentation and control. So we have control and instrumentation group working in this area. VLSI has always been a boom around the engineering fraternity. So we have VLSI architecture and systems and VLSI design and circuits who are actively researching in the domain. Pattern recognition and image processing with computational intelligence. This is the emerging trend. We have a team working under it in ECE and EIE as well. The thrust area groups in mechanical are shockwaves and application. I place it on record that the laboratory that we have in shockwave is second only, second of its kind in India. 
we have research and analysis on advanced materials research group, material science research group, energy technology research group, design optimization and simulations group, product portfolio management research group in mechanical. In electrical and instrumentation, we have intelligent control for power engineering, electrical machines and drives, and microgrid groups. Along with these thrust area groups, we also have established various research centers in engineering discipline. These centers of excellence work on the cutting edge technology and deliver to the scientific world. So let me list out the research centers at Amrita. We have Amrita Center for Cyber Security Systems and Networks, Tifac Core in Cyber Security, Amachi Labs, Amrita Biomedical Engineering, Amrita Biosensor Research Lab, Amrita Center for Research in Advanced Technologies and Education, Amrita Center for Wireless Networks and Application, Amrita E-Learning Research Lab, Amrita Technology Business Incubator. I place it on record, we are one of the best incubators in India. Center for Computational Engineering and Networking, Center of Excellence in Advanced Materials and Green Technologies, Humanitarian Technology Labs. It should be noted that we take, we take engineering activity into every facet of our day-to-day -day life. We are not restricted to fundamental studies, we are taking into applicative side as well. So these centers strive in bringing engineering to our daily lives. Now let me tell you the in, about the infrastructure of our university. We have very well established laboratories with modern equipments and state-of-the-art facilities to carry out your research and projects. I'll share a few snaps of those laboratories. We, you see, there are laboratories, the, these are the electrical laboratories, laboratories with modern equipments. The shockwave lab, second of its kind in the entire nation, is there at the bottom left corner. We have very well established electronics lab, computers lab, robotics lab, and battery management lab, etc. Please log into our website to explore more about our infrastructure. Now let me tell you that Amrita emphasizes on collaborative learning. The research we carry out it has high initiatives in collaborating with various organizations in India and abroad. Some of the organizations that we are collaborating with to carry out our research endeavors include Indian Institute of Science, DRDO, ISRO, Center of Nanoscience, NAL, ADE, Nimhans, Texas Instruments, Maxim Integrated, Cadence, Synopsis, LNT, Narayana Rudyalaya, Healthcare Global Enterprises Limited. Let me tell you, we have more than 250 crore of funding and are actively carrying out many projects in partnership with many of these organizations. Amrita is a research-driven university. With delivering more than two decades of quality education, we have a strong base of alumni placed in various hierarchies of organizations and research fraternity around the world. Many of them have gone on to be an entrepreneur and have very well established themselves in the industries as well as research groups. To place on record, Amrita believes in delivering quality education and we give the best to our students. The result goes on to see with the alumni achievements. Some of the alumni achieve achievers are listed as in the slide. We also engage our alumni in various activities in building the curriculum, new courses, etc. So Amrita engages alumni actively even after graduation. Now that you know what Amrita is, what we do, where we are, what are the initiatives and programs we have for you, now let me tell you how you can get into Amrita. The eligibility and criteria for MTech. The MTech aspirants should have bachelor's degree in engineering and technology. They should have either completed or be in the final year of their course. Also, gradu also graduates from MSc, MCA, or equivalent master's degree in any branch of science, mathematics, statistics, computer applications, or equivalent professional society examinations recognized by MHRD, UPSC, or AICTE are accepted. The minimum of 60% is required for all these applicants in their qualifying degree. 
Now that you know what is the eligibility and criteria to get into Amrita, now let me tell you about our selection process. We provide direct admissions to great qualified applicants. Please note that admissions are confirmed only after you produce your valid gate scorecard. The candidates with TA and CET, PGCET and PGCET qualified candidates are accepted after a telephonic interview. Applicants having more than 8.5 CGPA and good academic cred credentials or any engineering graduates with CGPA more than 7 are accepted with a telephonic interview, after a telephonic interview. Applicants with a minimum experience of two years in relevant academic and engineering industry will be accepted after a telephonic interview. So that is the selection process. So the process includes a telephonic interview for many of them and we provide direct admissions to get qualified students. Now if you want to know more about us, what are the programs in detail, what is our infrastructure, you can always log on to www.amrita.edu slash admissions slash mtech 2019. Or alternatively, if you want to talk to any of our personnel, you can contact us on 1-800-425-9009. Before I conclude, let me tell you, Amrita is a destination to pursue your graduate studies. I'm sure many of you have aligned yourself already with respect to the values and visions of Amrita. I'm sure that many of you have given Amrita a top priority in pursuit of your graduate studies. With that note, I wish you all the success. Thank you.